Hello there guys and welcome back to another episode of um, my server tutorials and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the world that you're running on your multicraft server and through um, using a program that you're going to have to download and it is free so don't have to worry about buying anything um, unless you want the full version of it but the free version works perfectly fine so the first thing that you're going to have to do, um, oh, hang on. Before we before we get into what you have to do, I'm just going to show you what world I have. So I'm going to load up my Minecraft here, and then I'll make sure that it's not too loud because usually it's really, 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 really loud. So let's turn that right down. So let's go to my server. There it is, and we'll just join this, like so, and. Where am I? Alright, there we go. Currently I am on the Sunken Island Adventure Map and you can go and download this. Um, it's quite nice to just play it on a survival without doing all the challenges and everything. But do the challenges as well because they're quite interesting too. Right, so on to how to change this world here into another world. So. I'm just going to disconnect from my server here and we'll minimize that back down because we'll need that later and what you're going to have to do is go to FTP file access don't sign in you're just going to need this information that's on this menu here so I just need to close this down and load up this program here called FileZilla this is going to be the base of the access of the server and you'll be able to edit all of the the things that you're going to need to do inside this box at the bottom right. So, once you've got your server here, copy the host, just do Control C, go to FileZilla and paste that into the host. Then copy your FTP username and obviously put that into the username. Put your password in, um, that's not even right. That's my password. And then the port is always 21 for um, default FTP. Um, so, quick connect to that. Just by using this button on the end. And then that will load up this, this group of folders and everything here. So, all you're going to have to do is just go across these, select them all, and just hit delete. So that's going to delete all of your folders and, yep, or at least all of the world folders. And then you've got to decide what world you're going to use. So I have here, obviously, the Sunken Island Adventure, which I've uploaded to it. But then I have a bunch of other worlds here. I've got uh, the spawn of my survival server. I've got Pizza Spleef, Survival, Skyblock, Light Cycle, bi Big Builds, which is just where I built cars and everything. But I'm going to put Pizza Spleef on there. So all you have to do is drag Pizza Spleef across here and then drop it onto any of these bottom sections. So, now that this is all completely uploaded, it will say directory listing successful, transfer complete, everything like that. It might take a bit longer than that one did just because Pizza Spleef is actually quite a small world. But the first thing, the next thing that you have to do is it will say Pizza Spleef in here or whatever your world name is get rid of that and just type in world just world no capital letters nothing else on it and just leave it as world that's all you're gonna have to do close that down go to your server again and go back to this menu and you can see here that it's online currently it will still be using your normal world but when we hit restart on this it will go offline and then it will go to the console you should see that it will do some random little things it will go oh well sometimes it will go preparing spawn area and everything but I think I have run this world on my server before but that is how you do it and if I go back to my multiplayer and go down to my server again there it is same server joining just make this a little bit bigger again you can see now 
that I am on a completely different world. I have a pizza cutter in my inventory. And there's command blocks. And obviously there is the pizza. So that's how you um that's how you, you add a new world to your server. Um like and subscribe if you found that helpful or if you want to want to see some more um want to see some more videos. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um yeah, I'll see you in another video then. Bye for now.